Craft essences are seen as the bane of every master's existence. Trying to roll for that golden moment when you can finally get your hands on a- Oh come on! But really, these are very important in your later experiences with the game, and not all of us are blessed with EX luck. For those on your friend list with rare supported servants, and for those who want a guide of helpful craft essences, this is a video for you. Welcome fellow masters, my name is Musaki from Kadia Gurus, and here are five... Um... Someone stole the fifth one? Then, then how am I gonna... <sighs> Never mind. Here are four helpful craft essences for US Fate Grand Order. Number four, beginning of the journey. All journeys begin somewhere. When Fate Grand Order launched back on June 25th, this craft essence was the first promotional item we received. Giving out 75 more friend points when the equipped servant is chosen, this will definitely help you or the friend who's serving use it. If you're just joining the game now, no problem. Later down the line, this will be in the rare Manum Prism shop, so you'll be able to buy it from there. Consider choosing service with this craft as is attached. You'll be doing your friend a solid. Number three, Nightless Rose. Um, at the moment, this is the only craft essence with this type of effect. Having a serpent survive a hit that would normally kill them is very useful. Stick this on a Lancelot and wreck all the faces. Put this on Cuckoo Lane and he'll never, ever, ever die. Sadly, this craft essence is linked to Nero Fest and that is the only way to get it. It would be higher on the list if it wasn't for that case alone. Still, if you see this on a support servant, you'll know they'll survive anything you throw at them. The closest craft essence that gives a similar effect would be Parted Seeds. It applies a one-time use of Evade, so while not the same buff, it's still pretty useful. Number 2. Kaleidoscope. With imaginary element as well. I put both of these craft essences here because they perform the same function and are close to numbers that make it worth it. Starting the battle with 80%, even 60% Noble Phantasm gauge, it's fantastic. Especially when paired with those who can increase their own gauge by the use of a skill. This will make it so much easier to clear weaker mobs instead of struggling to increase that gauge. Plus, putting this on your support formation will guarantee that you'll get loads of friend points and the gratitude of your friends. If you want this type of effect for yourself, these craft essences here are the lower rarity versions you can get from friend point summons. And finally, number one, Black Grail. Whoa, what the heck? Why is this here? It deals damage to you. Why would I want that? That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. I'm going to stop you right there. There's a phrase I've learned while playing the card game Magic. Power at any cost. There is nothing in this game that comes close to increasing the power of the Noble Phantasm than this craft essence. Limit breaking Black Grail will give numbers like HOLY CRAP! Ah, uh, um, wow. That's a hard hit. The downside to this is getting 500 damage dealt to your servant each turn. But pair this with a servant with healing skills, and it'll be a non-factor. Now, if you don't want to deal with the damage drawback, and you don't have a servant with healing skills, Heaven's Field does the job well enough. It's not as strong, but you don't have to worry about the servant taking damage every turn. You like the idea of your Noble Phantasm hitting harder than before? Try these out if you have them. They're lower rarity and easier to get. And that's it. What are your guys' thoughts? What craft essences do you find helpful? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Musaki from Kaldia Gurus, signing off. Now who took that number? Seriously? I was gonna use it for a good laugh too. Yes, Waffles?